What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the first clip of a new week. <coughs> I guess that's kind of my saying now at this point. Welcome to the first clip of a new week. Welcome to the first moment of a new week. Nah, I think clip fits better. I just got off of what feels like a really long shift, but I know for many people it wouldn't be considered that. Um, my, my, uh, surgery area is really bothering me. I mean, not really very, not really bothering me. Uh, it, it's, uh, slightly hurting, but what's really hurting me today is my hernia. Seems like my hernia has like doubled down on discomfort in the past couple days. And it's, uh, I can't seem to get it to go back to where it belongs, if you know what I mean. Um, and it feels really hard and like kind of numb, uh, but not a pleasant sort of numb. It's the best way for me to describe it. And I'm pretty sure it's become a double ingenial hernia because uh, I can feel I'm the other side now too but like a much smaller lump going through it's sometimes it uh, sends these electrical shocks through my groin and down my leg like it keeps doing right now uh, that is really bothersome <laughs> Oh, I was wondering what that light behind me was in the sky, and then I realized uh, it's part of the damaged portion of my screen. All right, I sound like an idiot. You should see how stupid I sound at work. I hear all the snickering and comments. I am not very good, I don't think. I'm trying. I'm not... Everybody thinks... Oh, I don't even, I'm so tired of trying to explain myself and just no one believing me, but uh, it's really frustrating. I got to get back and get the dog out, but I forget things a lot, like a few minutes after I'm told them, not even that, literally like seconds, if there's too much information given to me too fast. Or I've got too many external stimuluses, stimuli, that is trying to occupy my attention at one time. I, uh, I have a hard time remembering and focusing. And it's fast paced there. So, I mean, I'm walking uphill, by the way, <laughs> in my stomach and groin's hurting, not to mention, my feet are hurting. My back is flaring up today. I'm a broken person, everybody. Just full of wans. At least that's how I feel like I appear. <laughs> I can't wait to get home and relax. I think my dad's out of town for two weeks. We have no food in the house. Like just about literally no food I got canned vegetables um, yeah canned vegetables and I think one packet of pork chop that's been thawed out uh, and a couple top ramen but I'm trying to resist eating top ramen because uh, it's just so bad for you. And I eat at Subway. I eat when I can because you would think you'd get free meals, but you don't. And I don't have a lot of money these days. So even when it's $5 for a sandwich or less, still hard to afford. <laughs> 
I'm not looking forward to getting home and seeing the deuce my dog probably took on the carpet because he hasn't been let out since like five. And it's 11 now. Anyways, there you have it. My day, my problems. It's all I ever seem to complain about or talk about. But you know, it's a vlog. It's supposed to journey your life. Another word for it, it's just a journal, an outlet. Well, if anyone's actually watching, thanks for watching. See you on the next clip. Josh out. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, it's about 11.10. I was off at 11, uh, but I was closing, so for my first time, and I'm doing it alone with not much in the way of training. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, I did a good job. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Why? Oh, well, thank you. I just live right next to McDonald's. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, <laughs> that was nice of her. Uh, so, fuck yeah. On my way home. Got hit by the gas station first. Uh, well, actually, I got to stop by home. Put the dog outside run over the gas station, withdraw the rent and $40. Uh, well, now I'm going to wait to withdraw the rent because I don't know how much to withdraw. Oh, I'm tired. I don't want to talk right now. I'll talk to you guys later. Display. I love it when people do decorating. It's so cool. So festive. So family. I think they did stuff in their backyard too and they have stuff on the side of the house that isn't lit up. Bunch of decorations that aren't lit up too. I got a car coming behind me so I gotta move. What's up ladies and gentlemen? I believe this is uh, one of the only clips I've managed to make this week so far. Uh, <laughs> sorry, haven't really had much to vlog. Uh, I have, but I just haven't been up to it. Uh, I had to go to the ER again. My hernias were really causing me a lot of pain. This time I went to the local ER rather than Columbia. And I wish I hadn't gone because all they told me was that, uh, uh, sorry, can't do much for you. We don't even have a surgeon here. Set up a, an appointment with your primary doctor. And I'm like, this hernia, man, it's, I, I know it's got to be a double hernia. It's killing me, man. It's hurting, it's hurting. And, yeah, he kind of just blew me off for the most part. I'm sure I'm going to get a nice bill for being blown off. Uh, check this out. Got a little secret right there. I'm going to be doing some videos and photos on that chair right there. That's my, uh, my chair that I was given to by the company OC OP Seat to uh, do a review on. and Or I'll post some photos of and uh, kind of do a review on it. Uh, so far, it was missing a couple screws when I put it together, so I had to go through all of my screws and drill two screws in. Uh, but they were for a very minor part of the chair. Uh, but the chair was really easy to put together. Uh, it's very comfortable, especially that lower lumbar uh, cushion. That's really comfortable. Uh, the armrests and certain other design aspects look like they're virtually taken from uh, secret lab however uh, literally taken from C uh, secret lab however I do believe that certain aspects are more just industry standard designs that you could buy uh, as a company you could probably buy just a standard design and that's the armrests the armrests look verbatim to uh, secret labs just about uh, but like I said I think it's just a design that you can buy uh, and you can have it customized and certain aspects changed to the way you want it. Well, that's just an assumption, though. Uh, I also got a letter, which I'm going to discuss more about tomorrow. 
uh, from the hospital that told me that they uh, they had found a couple other problems uh, or concern, you know, things that I should be aware of when I did my CT scan and uh, not cancer or anything like that. So at least in my abdomen, I don't I'm cancer free. Uh, I'm guessing the CT scan, yeah, yeah, cancer free in the entire abdomen. I don't know what's up here or down lower, but uh, there are some other things specifically regarding my uh, my spine and either my lung or my liver. I gotta look it up again. Uh, a couple problems with my spine and something about my liver. I'll express it to you tomorrow. Uh, I'm on leave from work until Tuesday evening. Um, I'm going to try and really not make them uh, have me work for eight hour shifts up on my feet. Uh, because it, it doesn't, it's not even the foot that hurts the most anymore. And my feet have always been the complaint. Uh, it's the hernia now. It used to be the foot in the back, and now it's just the hernia is just murder. Uh, it's a weird feeling. I don't. I'm not sure how to describe it. Uh, kind of like uh, my abdomen, my lower abdomen, groin area uh, gets really cold and numb at the same time, right where the hernias are. Uh, I just turned that fan off. Missed the switch. Uh, and it's really uncomfortable. And the longer I let it, or the longer it starts feeling that way, the the more the more discomforting it gets. And the pain, then it starts feeling painful almost. I don't know how to describe how it can be painful when it's numb. But it's like, it's like when your leg is so numb that it's almost throbbing. And if you were to lightly flick it, just lightly flick a part of your leg, you can just feel a, a throbbing electrical sensation. Uh, that, that's what I'm just, that's what I would have to say. And since it's right there in the abdom, lower abdomen and groin where you're always walking or leaning up against something, especially if you work at a counter, uh, it's just like jolts, you know, it's just like constant. It's not even momentary, it's just nonstop. Uh, that's the best way I could describe it but really cold at the same time. Uh, so I'm, I gotta work on signing up probably for Medicaid or something. And everyone keeps telling me I need to go for social security, but that's not an easy choice to make. And I also am not really entirely sure how to, uh, how to, a lot of stuff, man. Talk to you guys later. Still five years old, you know? Ain't like I'm gonna be sitting up every night asking my mom, when's daddy coming home, you know? Who needs him? Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it too, didn't I, Uncle Phil? Got through my first date without him, right? I learned how to drive, I learned how to shave, I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. Oh, yeah. I need him then, and I don't need him now. Well, now you know what, Uncle Phil? I'm gonna get through college without him. I'm gonna get a great job without him. I'm gonna marry me a beautiful honey, and I'm gonna have me a whole bunch of kids. I'm gonna be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that, because that damn thing, he can never teach me about how to love my kids. Well, you know what, Uncle I fucking die a tragic death or some shit and I'm not able to see out my dreams I at least want to know that the kids perceived my message and were able to make something of themselves and use it and turn it into something positive or they found some sort of answers or resolve and to have a good life regardless of the negative around my name regardless of, of the bad things people say to me I don't give a fuck because I know my goal in the end and I know what my message is out my new chair from op seat they sent this to me in exchange for just a couple photos uh in my setup so i got it for free 
pretty sweet. It's the Grandmaster Orange, even though it might not look terribly orange right now. Really comfortable. And uh, spins really easy, apparently. <laughs> Got to, or uh, put in some, uh, ugh, can't even speak right now. Replaced some of my broken lighting with some of the stuff I had downstairs. So, like my black lighting. Some of it died on me, so. I did what I can to add some to bring out the colors a little bit more. And there's my little moblin, Gabe. Oh, it's so nice. Hi, what's up? What's up? Anyways. Yeah, my pup are sleeping. Ooh, you like my blankie? Yeah, it's my blankie. Yeah, I like that. You like this one, the one he's sitting on? Can't really tell because he kind of squished it. But oh, there you go. That's there we better. go. There, there we go. That one's just a bunch of wolves in the forest. Snowy woods. And guess what, guys? He used to have a wolf when he was little. A what? Pup. Or my dog and my pup and Meowmer. Pretty much sleeping together. Mm -hmm. So adorable. I don't see how that way of sleeping could be uh, comfortable though, Titan. My oh my nephew God, is playing so some Andrea with my Lopez. little Star Trek Enterprise E ship. Cara, such a pleasure. I'm a big fan. Oh, that's, that's very And his little Batman toy, the uh, Hot Wheels. Rojas, as in Obsidian North? The one and only. Right. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Rojas. I think the elevator dropped you off on the wrong floor. Obsidian's one down. Oh, my goodness. Lena didn't tell you, did she? Didn't tell her what? James Olsen. I am glad you're here. I'm a big admirer of yours. Gabriel. I got my Batmobile here. It can move hey, and all that. And what are you doing? Gabriel, you're in the way of the TV, bud. Love you, bud. 